All right, so now let's go ahead and get started on doing some furniture. So I'm gonna just click on this, um, middle click the mouse, and then I'm gonna go invert selection and hide objects. So that gets rid of everything but that. So this is my ground plane. Um, I know that this is the area I want to work. You can see it's not flat on the ground, so we wanna make sure that uh, all of our objects are sitting on this. So if I go to a top view and start laying in where I want my furniture to go, um, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. And I'm going to clip it to this corner here so that it lines up on top of my object. So if I click there and start to drag out, I can do a diameter of maybe um, um, 18 inches. Gives me this. And then I want to move that into my room. So M O V E, enter. Click on this, enter. And then I click out here so I don't accidentally snap up or down in space. Enter again, click here move it back into space here. Zoom out, see where it is. I'll move it over here. Move it back here. So it's kind of in the corner of the room. Uh, now I'm gonna switch to a perspective view here. Make sure it's on the top where I want it to be, which it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, go to Invert selection and hide objects. Okay, so now I just have this object. So let's draw a circle again. Z I R for circle. And touch the edge here, move the mouse back here, and that should line up right in the center of that circle. And then I'll do a diameter of one inch. Enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line. So let's go poly line. Click in the middle here. There we go. Now, well, let's go to a front view, sorry. Front view, poly, start going out of the center there. I'm gonna go five foot, four inches high. Click, move out this way, maybe 18 inches. Click, then I'm gonna go down about six, enter. Whoops. Six, enter, click. Messed up. Just do a line here. L I N E, click, six, enter. Okay. So now I want to round these corners, so I'm going to fillet. The radius of six all right five Or actually, I want that just to be in kind of an arc shape. You see, if I can do a spline,
Oh, just try one of these. Yeah, I kind of like that curve better. So I'm going to explode this. And then I did snap that line to that point, so it should line up. Click on this, delete. Click on that, delete. And then I'm going to join this whole thing together. J-O-I-N, enter. All one piece, beautiful. Go back to perspective. Move this from this point to my midpoint inside of here. Click there. Cut. So now I'm going to make this object have some 3D form to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go sweep with one rail, which is what we've got here. If you had multiple rails, it would be different. We we'll, might go into that later on. Enter. Uh, click on the rail. Enter. Click on the sweep object. Oops. Rail. Object. Enter. Sweep. Did that wrong. <clears throat> okay. Escape. Because I didn't mean to have that selected. Enter. Rail. Enter. Oops. Rail. Circle. Enter. Up. Sweep. And then we want to close this form because this form has an open end on it. Open ended basically means it's going to be a surface. So let's go to solid and we'll do cap planar holes. Click on that, enter. And that caps it all off, so now our object is all one piece. And delete this, and then I'm going to extrude this up one inch, fillet, edge, make it rounded with a one inch radius. Oops. And then I'm going to Boolean union them together. This one, this, and this. Enter. OK. And I actually want this facing the other way, so I'm going to rotate it around. So R O T A for rotate. Click on this. Enter. Click that midpoint there. And click start to move it. I actually want it kind of off center like that and then I'll just delete this don't need that extra line and delete that circle now I'm going to draw a sphere S P H E R E enter and click on that spot right there just so that it's lined up to the center and I'll do a radius of six. If you look up to the left, that's what's set. Should be fine. Now I'm going to move this so that it's placed a little differently. M O E enter. Click on this. Click on that quad right there. I missed it. Here. Center there. Then I'm going to move it, lock it in vertical, click and drag down three inches. Up. Vertical, enter. Vertical, click, drag down. Negative. negative 12 inches and 
And then let me see, I'll draw a circle right in the midpoint of this. Orientation. Yeah, I'll just draw a line. Turn ortho on. Maybe go to a front view. And then let's see if I can't move this. There we go. And I'm going to move this ortho on so it's up overlapping into it a little bit. Now I'm going to go to a top view. All this will make sense in a minute. I'm basically just doing a little cord that's hanging out. Draw a circle. Then go back to a perspective view. And then sweep. Rail object. Yeah, so I have a lamp kind of like this, and it hangs from that cord, so I wanted to do that. Okay, so now I want to cut that off so that it's no longer overlapping. Let me switch into x-ray. You can see I've got overlap, and I've got overlap. I don't want any overlap on any of these, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this sur surface, copy, enter, from where it is to where it is. So now I've got two of them. And then what I'm going to do is Boolean difference. And I'm going to keep this and keep that. And then hit enter. And then I want to get rid of this. Enter. Did that wrong. So, I want to copy both of these back into the, where they are. So, copy, and I'll just go from here back to there. Okay, so now I've got two copies of that. Boolean difference. I want to subtract from this, enter this, and this. Enter. Now you can see in x ray view that we've got three objects perfectly designed to fit each other. Go through and erase any kind of 2D lines you've still got left. All right, so now that's my lamp. If I click on my middle mouse button, go to visibility, show objects,
comes up and sits right in my room. And some of you might make your rooms too big or too small. If you want to change the size of your room, you can do that as well uh, by doing scale, enter. Select my objects to scale, and I can select the whole deal, except for if I option. enter and I'm gonna do it from the top of this floor here so that way nothing changes scale factor I can do point eight enter <clears throat> get rid of that line too so now if you feel like your rooms a little bit better and notice that the object is still sitting right on the floor I did that by selecting the right point on my floor to scale so I just did 0.8. What that is is it's 80% of its original size. Okay, so that's my first piece of furniture. Um, next, I'm going to want to do maybe a, a table. I'm going to do a couch um, and that kind of thing. But I'm going to take a break right now after I change this to lamp and put this on this layer. So shift, shift, shift. Got all three pieces. Right click on uh, move objects to this layer. So that shows you um, sweep and kind of some basics of creating um, forms. However, I do not want you to do my lamp. I don't want you to do my room. This should be your own work. Okay, thank you.